found this um i found this uh it's a silly looking mirror where it's got like a little better release pattern uh i, I was just kind of cutting cutting my putts too much and this I spent a lot of time just feeling the ball, you know, almost hit like a baby draw with my putter. And it's been really, really good last month or so. I get back, keep that toe just a little bit in the air, not a lot. Forward press, hit the putt. I can do this all day long. My head's right in there. It's weird looking at yourself on I think this is going to really improve your putting. I want to add one more thing that I do when I putt and that is I give it a little forward press. So I get over the ball, little toe in the air, get that arch stroke going, put the toe in the air and just before I stroke it I give a tiny forward press at a certain speed. Normal putt has a certain speed. If it's a really fast putt, I slow it down a little bit so my stroke slows down. Right? If it's a long putt, I give it more of a okay long, jerk and a long putt stroke. The forward press, I'm using the forward press of my putter, just like Hogan used his waggle when he hit a shot. If he was hitting a nice and smooth shot, he'd waggle accordingly, even give the path of the club, depending on whether he was, how he was moving the ball. And uh, if he was hitting something more aggressive, his waggle would be different. I'm gonna do a whole show on waggle. But anyway, that's what this is like. So if you're having trouble with speed, I had a guy that subscribed to the channel. You should do so if you haven't already. Tell me one minute he puts like a genius, and the next minute he can't sink a putt, even if the hole was a bathtub. I think it's got to be timing of the putter. You lose your timing. Forward press will keep you timed. And on those really fast ones, to remind yourself it's really fast, Slow down on a forward press. Slow down. And it'll help you. The longer ones, it'll help you. Anything to trigger the mind and the stroke, put it right in your brain what kind of putt you're about to hit. It's got to help. I got to admit, it's a little weird. But it's because I see my head in there. If I just concentrate on the stroke that it's providing me with here, it's got an aim point, so it's easy to aim. If you set it up correctly, it'll be aimed right at the hole. And you can make a couple. And this is what Harmon used to win the British Open. And I just, uh, I just had started using the arc method a month earlier and I was having great success. And, um, you know, most of these mirrors you buy, they don't have the arc method. The arc method is the part of basically overdone. The arc method goes back here and then comes back here. And people go, that's, that's like, you know, Russian roulette. No, it isn't because if you notice, when you take the club back on the arc, it's the, the, the shaft of the putter is still pointed at the target line. Like down the line, the only thing that, that moves is the putter head. If you set up properly, like Tiger, he puts the toe of his putter up just a little and it gives him the automatic path of his putt. And you kind of hook them. You hit mini hooks, just like Harmon said. And boy, did he putt. I think he hit 59 with from 10 feet or in. Putts for that four, four days. Uh, I don't know if I have that right. I think I do. But it's not that difficult to learn. I mean, you got to practice, guys. 
We got to take this out to a green. I got this 1995 on eBay. I didn't get the bells and whistles. What are the bells and whistles, Tony? The bells and whistles, they had an arch. You can get them with an arch and you can get them with a selection of tees that you can put on the edge here so you, your putter stays within it. I don't, I don't need that. Thank you for, for being a, a viewer. I reached a milestone with YouTube. I'm over, uh, I think, 1,019 subscribers. So that's, I've only been doing it a few months since February. So thank you very much. And uh, if you like what I do, just keep on watching and I'll try to uh, do some videos that really help your game. I hope the ones that I have now have helped. When I learned that Tiger used the stroke and uh, uh, Cameron Smith used the stroke and Bobby Locke used a similar stroke, not really the same because he was actually pulling it left because he loved that. Uh, right to left spin on a ball. He even chipped that way, he even pulled his chips. He, he thought it, the, the ball ran truer right to left, and it probably does. I mean, I can't explain it. The ball is just going in the hole. So, uh, thank you for watching. Until then, I will see you next time.